I'm going to show you how to work the psoas part of your iliopsoas muscle, which comes off of the front of your low back, lumbar spine, crosses to the front, and then attaches into the groin near your hip. This is a notoriously hard tissue to access because it's deep to your guts. And while there's not really great agreement on what it does, we know it's important for the function of your hip and for the function of your lumbar spine, both in movement and also in a stability context. First thing you're gonna do is mount the hand to the rig right around belly button height and make sure that the profile is curved in towards your spine. You're gonna slowly, gently sink into the tissue, respecting that you're going through your organs to get there, taking deep breaths, doing your best to relax. Once you get comfortable with pressure on the tissue, you can use your hands to pull yourself a bit deeper. And then once you get comfortable with that, you can add in a little hip flexion and extension to release the fascia and to steadily lengthen out the tissue. Spend two to three minutes mobilizing each side and then a nice test retest is to use a squat if you're concerned about stability or use a death stretch if you're concerned about mobility.